Games like Elden Ring and Bloodborne have become staples in the gaming community, so much so that games like them or like Dark Souls are called Soulsborne style games. I personally absolutely love these games. I love Sekiro the most, but every single FromSoft game or Soulsborne game that I've played has been really fun. However, I have noticed a trend lately. It seems that more and more games, anytime it has a role-playing aspect, seems to go down this route of making their game Soulsborne-esque. So much so that there are even some pretty blatant copies, and when I say copies, I really mean more inspired by, such as Timesia or Mortal Shell. However, we do have some games that take aspects of it, but don't go all the way and add a lot more unique features. Some of these games would be God of War, Ragnarok, or the first God of War, and Hogwarts Legacy, or just to name a couple. However, it brings me to ask the question, if so many games are going in this direction, is this a good thing? And have Soulsborne games caused the downfall of gaming? So let's go ahead and explore that in today's episode of Gaming Culture. So as I mentioned, it seems there are more and more Soulsborne type games by the day. As I mentioned though as well, it can be pretty fun. So what's the harm if more games want to utilize these features? I don't really think there's too much harm, especially not right away. But the question is, will this stifle creativity in games and in the way that games try to tell stories? Are we going to see less innovation because people are going to maybe stick to this more formulaic way of storytelling? For example, Hogwarts Legacy uses a lock-on system that is very similar to the combat of things like Elden Ring, especially if you play in Elden Ring a magician or something along those lines, there are some very clear similarities. However, Hogwarts Legacy has two systems for targeting enemies, the lock-on system and the highlight system. And overall, the lock-on system is pretty broken, and it seems like they took it and threw it in without actually giving it much thought because, hey, this is the way that combat is done now. And it's lazy things like that that can really cause harm to the overall way gaming is done. I also would point towards things like the Battle Royale craze. For a while there, every single game had to have a Battle Royale because it's what everybody was playing. And therefore, if you didn't have it, or you didn't have a Battle Pass and a live subscription, then you weren't maximizing your profits or player base. And it's things like that that I really do think stifle creativity because then games looking for a simple profit shy away from making new and interesting choices in turn for a very formulaic and easy to create game. So honestly, my prediction is that for a little while here, I think we're going to see more and more Soulsborne style games pop up, and I think there are probably going to be a lot of very formulaic additions to this genre. Again, this isn't necessarily a bad thing considering I really like these games, even ones like Timesia. And hopefully, after time, people will kind of get tired of it and they'll see a bit of a lull in the overall fan base that's dedicated to this and then have to make some changes and make more unique and interesting ways to play these games or tell these stories. I think that actually Hogwarts Legacy and God of War Ragnarok, like I said, did a pretty good job of using elements of the combat style uh, while keeping their own individuality. However, sometimes it does work negatively. For example, in Hogwarts Legacy, most of the bosses felt very boring because there weren't really any boss mechanics that made them unique or interesting. And the entire time I'm sitting there thinking, damn, I wish this was more like an Elden Ring boss. So what do you guys think? Are we going to see more and more copies of the Soulsborne style game? Or do you think that we will see games try to innovate in order to keep the genre more fresh and unique? 
definitely let me know in the comments below guys and i really appreciate all of the support on the channel if you want to leave a like and a subscribe for more content like this in the future that would be appreciated let us know what else you'd like us to talk about in the comments below and i will see you all in the next video